tea, my lady. One can never have enough tea, unless, of course, one is drowning. Let me know and I'll send a buoy. <laughs> For now, a biscotti will suffice. Aye, aye. And a handle? A handle? Yes, my teacup appears to be quite handleless, like a proper moustache. I beg pardon, my lady, I don't know how that happened. But I tell you, I grabbed hold of it and it snipped right off. Really? How, I wonder? Well, if my bones are any indication, what breaks once breaks twice more easily. You mean to say... It was broke already and crudely glued like Ikean furniture. I shall launch an investigation at once. It won't be necessary. I've cracked it. You cracked the cup? No, the case. I cracked the case of the cracked cup and criminal I cannot confess to be. Pray tell. Who done it? It's an elementary. There's a brown stain picking out from within your shirt, indicating a spill you cleaned up in a hurry. The skin on the back of your left hand is red, indicating a burn from hot water. There's no one here apart from us, and I didn't do it. And finally, inexperienced as you are with glue in the super, you must have got more on your hands than you did the cup, which is why you've refreshed my tea seven times in the last hour. You glued yourself to the kettle. Please help. <sighs> Very well. But first, a song. Oh, a little dignity, please. A little teacup, please. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. 